Hey guys, it's Serena Beach Staples here. Um, I'm here today to kind of, I don't even know. Um, I've been having a lot of things go through my brain lately. I'm kind of trying to decide like what, uh, what kind of video do I want to do today? So I was like looking at my horses and stuff and I still kind of haven't decided. Um, I'm thinking about just doing a general collecting video today. Um, just about like, you know, collecting and what you can do to better your collection and and things like that. Um, so my collection's right here behind me. Um, I've got some of them over here, obviously, as well. Um, I'm going to turn it so you guys can kind of see the rest of the, the collection here. Give me one second. Ah, I've got to, I've got to fix this. I've got to go the other way. There we go. Um, right there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to kind of move him down. Move him, like, right there. Just a little bit. So this is my collection right here, you guys. Um, I've posted a few collection tours so you guys should know almost who everybody is. Um, real quick, I'm going to put these guys back. The horses I was using last night. For my video. I think I might post one later. Um, with the whole cleaning and stuff, like for the show prep. Yeah. Sorry if like my hair is all messed up and everything. I worked out tonight with a friend. Um, so pretty much, I think I've kind of got a general idea of what I want to talk about in this video. I'm going to talk about congas, um, models that you can probably easily afford that you can find, where to find them, um, and things like that. Give me one second, I'll put these last few in here. So I've got them back in. Um, so basically, there's a lot of different places where you guys can get your models. Um, you can buy them on eBay. You can buy them on MHSP, which is the Model Horse Sales Pages. That's put them away. <laughs> um, if you look on those websites, you'll normally be able to find some pretty good prices for some models. Um, again, like shopping at Briarfest has always been one. Um, you can always find some good ones there. Um, I can't even tell you what my best deal, Briarfest Clarion deal is. Could have been the Copper Fox body for 25 bucks from Copper Fox. That might be it. Um, but yeah, so um, check those websites. Amazon sells Briars. Um, obviously not a lot of the rare Briars, but Amazon does sell some regular runs. Um, and then you can also get them from, obviously, Facebook, Instagram, people selling them third party. Um, so as for building your collection, um, I've kind of got a general everywhere, all over the board kind of collection here. You guys can do however you were, whatever it is you want, um, collecting. Um, I tend to just kind of collect whatever I purchase. Um, sometimes it's basically, um, most people do just congas, and I was trying to do that, and I kind of lost interest and sold those congas. <laughs> well, parts of those congas, actually, I should say. Um, sorry, I was going to put him back. You can specify what kind of one that you want to get into. Do you want to get into briars? Do you want to get into stones? Do you want to do chinas? You can do whatever, resins. Um, you can do any different one. Um. I'm kind of dabbling in stones, briars, and mini artist resins. I haven't gotten into any big guy artist resins yet, um, which is okay, <laughs> I guess. Um, but, you know, collecting-wise, um, you guys can pick a mold or a specific breed you want to collect. So, you know, say you want to collect all Arabians, you know, just, just get out there, search for all the Arabians. Um, and... Uh, Briar makes some pretty cool Arabians, but I do recommend getting maybe a couple Peter Stones for your collection. Um, wouldn't hurt. Um, 
I would also do, uh, like, I have this little, this collection of bluegrass bandits here. Well, the bluegrass bandit mold. Um, yeah, you could pick a, uh, you could pick a mold to conga is what it is, basically. Um, so I kind of have a mini conga going there. Um, I did have a stone Arab one going on. It was, um, I have the other horse for say, or I just sold the other horse. Um, you guys can see here, I've got a couple of ruffians. Um, I have a little Oasis Conga going on down here at the bottom. There's three of them. Of course, they're all dark colors, so they're hard to see. Um, I had, well, the other one's for sale, but I had a Ethereal Conga going on uh, with the Ethereal Mold. I have an Esprit Conga happening right now. Um, a Croix Conga, Latigos. Um, I've been big into Latigos. My newest, most recent one has been the, uh, the Foles, these guys. The Amber Foles, I believe they are. Um, those, that's been my latest, um, conga I've been getting into. So, you guys can kind of just pick and choose whatever it is you want to do. Um, some people, I think, have done it all by, oh, my other big conga. I've got some Cantry Warm Bloods that are in that far corner. Um, the Thoroughbred mold down here. And then I've got, um... One other one that I was working on for a while was the Standing Stock Horse Mare Mold, um, which those are guys are all the way in the back there. Um, and then I've been doing the uh, Shetland Pony Mold as well. That's kind of been helping me. Um, so, yeah. So, sorry if I'm, like, not my usual bubbly self. I've kind of been just having a lot go on lately. Um, tonight's been a really hard night just for a ton of reasons and so that's why I'm like filming this videos because this has been like the one thing to kind of to kind of help me um with my thing um one thing for your collection you can collect whatever you want you can collect bodies you can do OFs um a good chunk of these guys are OFs except for certain ones um if you guys plan on showing I recommend getting a pretty good OF collection going on um like you could, uh, see I like this whole tired thing, but I'm not going to sleep. I know it. Like I have this one horse here, um, my Newsworthy, well, my Enchanted Forest here, who's actually body quality. Um, he wouldn't look it if you looked at him like this, but he does have some marks and stuff. There's a mark hiding in there and the camera won't pick it up. It's right here at the tip of my finger. It's kind of hard to see, uh, because a friend was able to kind of touch it up. Um, I have another little scratch right here. That one you can kind of see. Um, he's really pretty, though. He's also very dappled, so he's kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, just pick horses that will kind of stand out. I tend to stay away from the decos or the fantasies. Um, I have a couple. Um, I have one, two, three, three decos, I think it is. Um, just because sometimes you don't have a collectability show. So, you know, go collect them. Basically, I got I'm Yours because I got her for a heck of a deal. And she um, is in amazing shape. I think the only thing was that the previous owner had to touch up a shoulder. But she looks pretty good. I have the Meriwether, which is one I talked about yesterday in a video. And then I also have um, uh, the Blue uh, Surprise Stable Mate. Um, from the Cracker Barrel run from last year. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but you can like dabble. Like I said, I'm kind of making this up as I go, so sorry if it's like a very horrible video today. Um, you can collect customs. I do have some customs. It's kind of, he's kind of hard to see, but I have a Huckleberry Bay up there. That's a custom. My, the rest of my custom um, that I have done are in there. I'll show you him though. He's really pretty. Um, I got bored one day with a horse and started randomly using spray paint because I had some spray paint out. I was painting something for my mom and I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm going to paint a horse. And so I'll show you my first horse. Sorry, these guys might be just a little bit dusty here. Yay, that blocks my path. Uh, let me fix that. This one, 
this was the first horse I ever actually like really used as a body. Um, it was actually a Zips chocolate chips. And I started just messing around one day with some spray paint. And it kind of turned itself out to look like a roan. And I was like very excited with myself. Um, and, uh, but the bad thing is that I messed up the face. You see it's kind of like crinkly. The paint dried awkward. And then I was sanding it down um, to get some paint off. And I sanded down a little bit too much of the hair that was up here. And then um, too much of the eyes. <laughs> The eyes were pretty bad. Um, but yeah, like this one turned out pretty good. And it's funny because there's some places like down in here where it's like glossy. Uh, because the spray I had used was like half glossy. And then, so I decided to do that again. Um, and I did it on a Huckleberry Bay that I had that was a body just kind of laying around. And he turned out a lot better. I am planning on maybe taking him to my show. Um, one of the things that did a lot better was the shading. You guys can see, like, on this side, this is a spot where I messed up. I have to touch that spot up um, with some spray paint. Um, but you can see, like, this side, the shading's a lot better. <laughs> um, the spray painting technique's pretty easy. Um, basically, you just have the horse. And then I held the can. I'm going to use my pencil. About this far away, roughly, and I had a backboard behind him. And... Basically, he was spray painted. I think I had him solid white first, obviously. And then I spray painted him solid black. And then I kind of just started using the white and the black intermediately. Like, I'd spray a little bit of white, go back over, spray a little bit of black. That's kind of how it went. Um, so, <laughs> it kind of kind of turned out that way. And then the bad thing was that his stand had broke. And the original owner lost his stand. So I made him two new ones. He stands a lot better now. Um, obviously, they're just customs. Uh, they're basically um, what I do for these, and you guys can use this tip as well, is I get some clay. So this is just a, like a clay that you can heat up, and it's still got a little bit of a flex to it. That's because it didn't get heated up all the way. Um, and so basically, I flatten out the clay. I just kind of roll it out, make it flat, kind of like this. But I added a little bit, and I'll show you my inspiration as to how I started doing this, but add a little bit of some rough to it. And then what I did was I took the horse, I set it out as even as I could with his hooves, and took the horse basically onto the table, set him down, and pushed in. And so that way I could create a hoof imprint. And then with that hoof imprint, what I ended up doing was I grabbed some hot glue. And so that's kind of what you guys see like around his foot. Technically, like right here is the hot glue, but what I did was then I took it, glued the foot, glued the base, and then stuck it on there, and then I just kind of decided to paint it. So this one, I kind of made it like a sandy color. It's horrible, but it's a sandy color, um, and then my inspiration for the whole base thing comes from um, a custom I did a while ago. This is um, uh, Joey as Loki. One of the horns broke off, sadly, um, and I have no idea where it is. I used like a clay for that to make that horn there, um, the Loki horn, and then painted it gold. But um, he uh, looks horrible because he just sits on top of my thing. He's got paint chips all over and and stuff. He needs to be fixed. But he was the first horse I ever did that test to with this. Um, I never repainted that back base. I just realized that. Um, I took him to a, a show in Colorado um, after I finished him, and then what ended up happening was on my way back, because um, I flew on my way back, he got a little um, too close to another horse and basically broke a stand and then broke off this piece here, so you can kind of see where that's separated, and then broke off this piece up here where the, that little piece of glue is. Um, but he was the first um, one that I did with the stand, so I did that mud scene because um, this is Joey, if you guys kind of just look at him, um, he's got the blaze and then the four little white socks. Um, I uh, um, basically made him out to look like Joey from War Horse, because I had a big thing for Tom Hiddleston, and War Horse was like one of my favorite movies. So I did that, so I did kind of that mud scene, you know, where he's like running through the mud and stuff, and so that's why I painted those just a dark brown, because I figured that would work out pretty well. I've since sold all my bodies. I really don't have any. Um, I need to get some though because there's this cool event coming up next month called Nano Pimo, which is the national 
um, it's like the, or Namopimo or something, National Model Painting Month or something that was started like last year, the year before. And basically we have a month to paint or come up with a really cool creation. It's got to be on a bottle uh, like so. Um, so yeah, so basically it's got to be, basically I'd have to paint another model. Um, like I said, I have no bodies, um, unless I repainted one of, you know, one of them. I thought about just actually entering my, um, custom huck that I did, the, 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 the uh, blue road, that one there. Um, I haven't, uh, decided yet what I was going to do for that, because I think I want to enter, but I don't know yet. Um... But yeah, um, so do, you know, you can collect customs. You guys can make your own customs. Um, some people like to create their own customs. Um, most of the time I buy mine. Um, sorry, the, the three that I have, I've purchased, well, the three big ones that I have, I've purchased. Um, I have a custom bluegrass bandit. Um, it was my original bluegrass bandit. I owned one and it was body quality and I was like, I'm not getting any love out of this one. I'm gonna basically go in, I'm gonna, you know, um, get her painted. I found somebody who was willing to like accept trades or something. And so I gave her a trade, like we traded, um, uh, the model for the paint job, um, this model for a paint job and um, took her a while, but she had a illness, she was sick, and had an arthritis problem or something, so it was hard for her to paint, and then eventually, it was like June, and I was on vacation, and she's like, I was like, hey, by the way, I was like, I'll be heading home, she goes, well, good, I'll start, I'll send your horse out, you know, text me when you, or message me when you start heading home, and I told her, she goes, all right, sounds good, I'll send the horse out, priority should be there in a couple days, sure enough, it, it was, which was awesome. Next one is my Tahoe Silver Bullet down here, the gray one. She's um, really, really pretty, actually. I can pull her out real quick here for you. Um, Tahoe Silver Bullet decided to ditch her stand. <laughs> I'll get that in a minute. But she's uh, really, really pretty. I bought her, actually, off of eBay. Um, I have been wanting to get a custom done, something like this, um, for quite a while now. And so... Um, and so it was cute because, like, at Briarfest, um, when I went, it was 2015, I believe, I was looking everywhere for a ruffian body. And I told my friend that. I said, hey, I'm looking for a ruffian body, da 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 da, da. And my friend was like, oh, okay, well, I'll keep my eye on. Sure enough, she got a text. Someone was like, oh, my God, yeah, we're selling a ruffian body. Um, send your friend up here. So I went up there, and they were, and I was able to talk to them and get that all worked out. And I uh, bought it, and so I had another ruffian just laying around. Well, then I ended up selling that, because it was actually like a LSQ body. Like, it was live show quality. I could have taken it to a show. And then I sold it right as I found this one. Pulled some money out, um, and paid for this one. This one was only like 100 some bucks, I think, um, off of eBay from Monticello Studios or Monticello Studios. And oh, she's really cute. The bad thing right now is I have to re-spray her finish because what's been happening is she's been getting fuzzies and so it's kind of hard to see. But there's um, there's some here on her tail and then she's been getting them really bad on this side. It's from her pony pouch. So she's got some like here and she's got some back here. So I have to get rid of those. <laughs> um, another custom that I have in this collection is one that I bought from a friend of mine who had this done, portrait done of her horse. And it was a Nest Just a Dream custom um, with a new tail. Actually, it's the same tail, just f like twisted. So basically this part would have curved around and come over here. Um, basically, they were able to mold it together somehow magically. Um, and then I think she's got... I was trying to compare her with another one. And I think they tucked her head. I think that's what I noticed was the difference. Was she had a... Oh yeah, they re-tucked in her leg and they tucked in her head. So, um, I think that's what it was. Yeah, something like they, they tucked in this back leg more here. And then they did the, and then they tucked in her head a little bit. So she's got kind of, so she's kind of cute. 
Um, her name's Ovation. I love her so much. She wins things. She won this ribbon. <laughs> Um, so those are those three that I have for traditionals, classics. This is kind of turned into a collection tour, but, you know. Um, I have a bunch of classic custom, or classics, stable make customs. I'm going to pull everybody out. Um, like I said, these videos help me kind of focus at night. I'm going to have to probably hurry for this one um, so I can delete some stuff so I can refilm. I'm going to do just classic custom, or Staple make customs, and then I'll come back and I'll do um, the uh, artist resins. Um, maybe in my next video that I do, because I might do a few videos tonight. We'll see. So I'll get those guys pulled out. I got some on this side. Where are they? They're all back here. I have just a whole bunch of Cantering Warm Blood Customs, which that was one that fell. I only have two OFs. So I'm going to just kind of lay these guys here. Um, I'm going to go through my small ones, or my other guys first. Um, this was a stable mate that I got actually from a friend. Um, I bought a custom Cantering Warm Blood from her. I'll introduce you to that one in a little bit here. Um... But she uh, threw this one in because of shipping problems. This one was a custom done by a friend of mine. I had a body. I said, hey, I need some clothes. And so he gave her some clothes. A little cute little dapple gray. Um, next, a good one. This is Falling For You. Uh, Falling For You is a pretty good one. Um, custom standing stock horse mare into an Appaloosa. I bought her from a show. Um, I bought her at the same time as I bought Bourbon in Kentucky. Bourbon in Kentucky is a custom paint mare on the Standing Stock Horse mold. Super duper cute as well. <laughs> um, I think this one was done with oils. I think that's what this one was done with. It was either acrylic or oil. This was a Briarfest find from a couple years ago. Right here. Um, this is a Z71 like a Cadillac super adorable has one small little paint chip like at the tip of his hoof there um that's about it this horse this horse is super cute though i love this mold this one i just fixed um this is carry on wayward son carry on wayward son had a busted tail you can kind of see it there it's rough um yeah <laughs> his tail got really really busted and um which sucked and um, it's he sat on my desk for God knows how long. And I finally I was fixing something with some Gorilla Glue, and I brought it down here to fix up another horse. And I was like, well, I'm going to fix his tail while I'm at it. So it looks horrible, but I can't wait to take him to a show just to see if, you know, they notice that, which they probably will. But, you know, <laughs> doesn't hurt, right? He's a, he's a re-sculpted running thoroughbred. It's either G1 or G2, I think. I can't think of the actual number off the top of my head. Um, if you guys can kind of see that there. Um, with a custom tucked head, a new mane, and a new tail. And I think they redid, they added to the face a little bit. That was another thing. This guy is Dark and Stormy. Dark and Stormy is um, a, a Pinto Sport Horse. That's what I show him as. Got him at Briarfest as well. Just kind of fell in love with him. He's got one blue eye. This side's blue and this one's brown. So it's kind of cute. Get into the Cantering Warmbloods. Um, I've got... I don't know the names of all of them. So bear with me. Um, but this is Ada Diva. She was a custom that I purchased off of Instagram from Seconds to Mars Studios. Um, the bad thing is that she's going through her fuzzy phase as well. Um, sometimes like being in a climate controlled um, area... Um, I've heard, um, for depending on where your sealant is, um, could cause horses to, uh, or their sealants to kind of wear off and, or something. I could show you a perfect representation of a uh, very hairy model, uh, because of the sealant, but she's only getting it on her eyeballs. So, but she's super duper cute. She does have some, uh, chips, but the funny thing is that the chips look like they should be there like this random little one on her head there you see that one above her eye that one's technically not supposed to be there that's a paint chip but it still works there 
Um, this one was the one that I got when I got that little um, Shetland pony. This is, um, I don't even know her name. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I've ever showed her actually. Uh, yeah, I may have showed her at one show. Sorry for the yawning. Um, she's super duper cute. I did. I got her from a friend of mine who was selling some stable maids. I said, how much? And I'll take it. And like I said, because of some problems that came up, she sent the the little shot lid with it. This guy was a Briarfest find. Um, or no, no, no. This one was an Instagram find. Young lady on Instagram was selling this guy. And I messaged her. I said, hey. I said, I'm very interested in buying him. And she's like, okay. And she's like, I'll, I'll DM you pricing info later. So she DM'd me. I was like, yep, I'll take him. So she had, hadn't even finished him yet. So she finished him and then sent him to me. It was kind of cool because I got him about the same time my Briarfest tickets arrived. Um, this one is Ada Cara. I show her as a Mustang just because uh, most of the time my one is full, my warm blood class. But she's kind of cute. She's a repoed one. So she's got a, so she's got kind of some custom, she, I don't think anything's been done to her legs. Well, aside from the fact that this leg's been pushed outward a little bit more. Um, and then she's got a custom tail here. And then she's got the head turn, and she's super duper cute. And it was cute because, like, the girl was all worried that I was going to freak out about these seams. So I've got a seam over here, and then I've got another one on her neck. It's kind of hard to see. But she was, like, freaking out. She's like, oh, my God. Like, I'm so sorry about those seams. Yeah, no, that horse is dead. Um, Ada Luna is another one that's going through that sticky thing. She was a gift from a friend of mine who, um, when I was going through a rough time, she um, texted me and was like, hey, I'm going to send you a horse. I was like, okay, what's your address? And so she sent me that one. This is Ada Bella. Ada Bella was actually a custom done by said friend, the one that bought me that one. Um, just kind of one of those things where she had a canter in warm blood, and I said, I'll buy it from you, just as is. And she goes, no, 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 I'm going to paint it. So I said, surprise me. So she painted it this kind of cute, fun print. Um, that horse placed, I think she got a fourth. Um, I don't know the name of this next one. I can't remember what I named him. Uh, but he's super cute. He was a Briarfest horse. He's not signed, so like I can't track down the artist. I wish I could. But I can't. Uh huh. But he's super duper cute. Really well done. Um, like I said, I haven't shown him at any shows. I should though. He should be at it instead of one of the other horses. Um, this horse was actually I bought him from somebody who was selling some. He's actually a custom. And at one point I had the OF. I don't think I do anymore. Um, this one has a custom etch job. So I believe the socks, yeah, the these socks were added on the feet here. And then this was added right here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for yawning. Um, they added this here, which was kind of cool. He's got some browns and stuff. He went to one show, and basically I haven't shown him again since. Um, so I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to come back. Um, I might have another video. We'll see. Um... I do kind of want to like try and sleep. I've been dealing with a lot of shit, so um, sometimes you know sleep is hard for me. So that's why I've been filming these videos um, that I can feel myself be very very tired right now. And so I thought about just trying to take a shower. You know that'll pass thirty some minutes getting ready for bed, and um, then I only have an hour and thirty minutes till my favorite show's on. So. Yeah, so maybe I'll just find something to watch quick on Netflix to help me. Um, luckily, I'm calling my doctor in the morning, and my doctor's going to be able to help out, so I probably won't have too many more of these late videos. Um, I only get these videos, um, or these videos are only being posted because I can't sleep at night, and I have anxiety. Um, that's why my eyes are kind of puffy and probably look a little bit red, um, because I spent a good two to three hours crying earlier not like simultaneously like back to back like just couldn't stop <laughs> I was started when I was at my friend's house and I met with somebody yesterday also my pastor and talked to him and he's been a big help through this as well and 
I'm glad to have him in my life as well to help me through something like this. And and he's like, I know it's all scary and da 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 da. He's like, but you know, he goes, I think you can do it. And I've been on the phone. Um, I was recommended also. I have a therapy. I'm supposed to be waiting for them to call me back on Tuesday. Um, but I have the phone number right now of a crisis center that I've been using um, here in Nebraska. And the lady on the phone was super sweet to me. Um, talked to her for 38 minutes the first time and then about 18 the second time roughly. Um, she was just really sweet. She just had a gentle way of explaining things and, and uh, doing all that. Um, it was one of those like kind of out of wedlock. I was like, I'm just going to call. I'm just going to call. And I did, and I'm glad I did. She was like, well, go try to focus yourself on something, da-da-da-da-da. And I was like, okay, I will. And I told her that these videos have been helping. And she's like, well, go do one of those. She said, I don't know about probably what you're about talking about, but go try to do one of your videos. And I said, okay. So that's why I was kind of fidgety, kind of moving around, um, is because I'm still kind of coming down off of um, what I've been dealing with. Like I said, the best thing is I'm calling my doctor in the morning um, to see if I can get medicine for it um which would be awesome and you know just to kind of help me calm down and relax through this because it's caused me many sleepless nights if you guys can see that these videos are posted pretty late and if you see me looking tired in these videos it's because either I've been staying up all night or I feel these videos at like one in the morning which it is now and luckily this video has helped pass some time so all right, I'm going to get off so I can clean off my phone real quick. Um, I'll probably come back maybe. I might try to shower. Um, I worked out tonight, so I'm kind of stinky. But I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little bit of video. I just like being able to talk to you guys and, and expressing my feelings out there. and Doing something that I love has been helping me a lot. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.